Today we're going to do some squatting for you. We're going to use bands. It's a contrast reactive method. Basically what you have is accelerated eccentric training where the barbell is going to go faster downward than gravity normally intends it. By doing that it uh, develops a stretch reflex and makes the person come up much faster. So uh, let's go ahead and get to it. We're going to watch some squats and see how this looks. Chuck Vogelpool squatting, he's a 220, uh, multi-world champion, his best squat is 865 pounds at 220. And Rob Fusener, who's not too good in shape right now, but he just, he's made 905 weighing 280. He's also just totaled 220, 275 as a 275 at the Westside Invitational. Now you notice they use the bands. This is the contrast method. By using those bands, it increases the kinetic energy, which overspeeds the eccentric portion of the lift. By doing that, that strength is transferred into the body as reversal strength, causing one to come up absolutely as fast, proportionally as, as fast as you go downward. Uh, the bands at the tension, in case you want to know, the barbell weight was 410 pounds, it's a 50 pound squat bar, and the bands at the top is 335 pounds, and in the bottom it's 230 pounds, to give you an idea. So actually, Chuck was doing around. Um, uh, there at the end when he had, uh, well, he had an even 500 on, so it was like 835 to the top for those last two sets. Give, just give you an idea. In the bottom, it's 265, so we'll be 765 out of the bottom. All right, now we're going to get into the next group. You notice, folks, uh, 
we have to wait our mom lift down. Two weeks ago, we used 555 pounds at the top and 39 at the bottom. It will absolutely flip the monolift over. So for God's sake, if you start to use these legs, which I highly recommend from Jump Stretch out of Youngstown, Ohio, um, you have to weight your monoliths down or it will flip them over. Folks, secondly, there you saw Aaron Ross. He's visiting from California. He's an 859 squatter. He used the same weights as uh, Chuck and uh, Rob did. And then that was Chester. He did the same. Chester's an 825 squatter. Then me and um, Mike Rogerio jumped in there. We did our Chester 405, jumped up, ended up with 590 at the top. It's 925 pounds for uh, that last single. And he doubled it. He's very, very strong. He'll probably squat a grand in June. And uh, after. Uh, after the squats, you know, just check this and deadlifts. That's what we'll do. Three or four speed sets, maybe up to six. Then we do uh, reverse hypers, glued hams, abdominals, and we're done. I've already drugged before I squatted. Tonight I come back and drag again. More reverse hypers, more abs. That pretty much concludes how we squat. It's a dynamic day using the contrast method with bands.